Hi, I'm Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group, and I'm here with Pamela Marnell, Chief Marketing Officer for SunGuard Financial Systems. And we're here today to talk with Pamela about 10 for 10. 10 for 10 is a new marketing initiative by SunGuard. And I guess the first question is, what is 10 for 10? Think of 10 for 10 as a way of summarizing some of the universal business challenges we see. So the 10, T-E-N part, stands for transparency, efficiency, and networks. So it's delivering transparency, increasing efficiency, and leveraging networks. You're pretty much spot on with these three issues that, that we see in the marketplace. When you talk about transparency, transparency, you know, you know, it's kind of like motherhood and apple pie and wrapping yourself in the flag. Mm -hmm. There's transparency of markets. There's transparency of operations. What mm -hmm. do you mean by transparency? All the major stakeholders are driving this view. So uh, regulators, as we know, are driving uh, the view to have transparency into the market. Um, investors are asking institutions for transparency into their investments at an institution. And uh, the executives themselves want transparency into their operation and into their risk process. To gain transparency, you need access to data. And the data is there. We all know that the data is there within the institution. So really what these institutions are trying to do is unlock that data. And then secondly, um, look at what operational impacts there are to some of these new uh, things that are happening, particularly from the regulators. That's going to be a huge issue, I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, going forward is, is the regulatory framework, which is really up in the air. Right. You know, and unfortunately, we don't know uh, which programs are going to be adopted, which are not going to be adopted, what, how Europe is going to be different than the U.S. How do firms start thinking about um, how, do we be pre how are we prepared for no matter what happens? A, we start talking to customers early. Where do you see this going? We get involved with the industry bodies. So we're in the mix as these things are being discussed. And then we start looking at the impacts that we see in our own systems, and we take that to the customer. And a good example was the Option Symbology Initiative, uh, which recently mm -hmm. um, went into effect. And in that case, it was the perfect storm for us. We, we had to look at it for our own systems. But then we also had a consulting business that went out and talked to our customers and Citibank was one that worked with us to look at the impacts to all the other systems um, that they well, have. Which is huge because yeah. the number of new options, ticker symbols is just you know ballooning. One of the big issues that we're seeing in the market today is around risk. How do I understand the risk that I have within my organization? How do I understand the risk in the marketplace? Um, how, how does risk play into 10 for 10? Risk has definitely moved up the agenda for customers, um, and it comes back to two areas. One, the data. Do we have access to the right data to be able to look at counterparty risk or analyze uh, the various risks? And secondly, the process. Uh, do we have the infrastructure? Do we have the transparent risk process to know that we're managing our risk? Uh, so, so trying to understand the data, understand the process, understand the operations, um, and just be able to analyze all that. Yeah, and, and the good thing from a SunGuard perspective is we've invested in our risk infrastructure um, for quite a while now, and we feel like we're well positioned for our customers in this aspect. Um, people aren't ripping out their risk infrastructure, but they want an ability to add components. They want an ability to run analytics on common data. Uh, they want the ability to have a common framework. And we're a leader in this space, and, and we offer those capabilities. So our customers are really looking to us to help. And that, that moves us to the next stage of efficiency, because mm -hmm. you know the, the growth from what we see in the marketplace has been very spotty. How are you seeing um, that demand for various levels of efficiency kind of play out um, within your client base? We see uh, efficiency now is about doing more with less. It's less about cost cutting and more about growing your business with the people and the, and the infrastructure you currently have. So to us, that's about automating the process. If you can automate the process, then you really can free up your staff to focus on value-added work. And I'll give you an example. We have a fund manager who had acquired another fund, and they doubled their assets under management. They came to us and really wanted to grow that business and manage that business without adding staff. We were able to do that by implementing a very efficient paperless uh, operation that was exception-based, and it was based on using business process management technology. And the key for SunGuard, I think, is less about the tools, um, and it's more about the fact that we know the operation, we understand this business, and we also typically have a lot of the systems that our customers are relying on to do their business. SunGuard's really made a big investment in growing our services business. We have 4,000 
um, consultants mm -hmm. worldwide that are really available who know this industry. They come out of this industry to work with our customers to become more efficient. Interesting. And and the last you know the last piece of the ten for ten is networking. And we've certainly seen the power of the internet. We're seeing that you know within um, uh, the electronic trading uh, mm -hmm. market where where everything is virtually electronic. We're seeing that move overseas. Um, how do you look at networks? Um, and where do you see networking moving um, moving our industry? SunGuard's long provided a network, as you know, in the trading space. What we're seeing that's new is that many of our customers here, particularly uh, the Tier 2, for example, really are looking to capitalize and grow their business globally. And so they want to leverage the SunGuard network to do that. Um, also, they're looking to leverage our ability to scale on their behalf, and we bundle services to them that, that really enable them to do it cost-effectively. It's really interesting um, in terms of um, how firms have progressed and how technology has progressed. It used to be, you know, when I started, you know, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, it seems, um, you know, you needed a significant infrastructure to even, you know, be a minor player in this business. Now we have, you know, proprietary trading firms, hedge funds, and small players that, you know, with 50, 100 people can, you know, trade almost bigger than a major institution. How do you see your, yourself and SunGuard helping firms do that? Well, SunGuard's long provided ASP services, and now we've started to really get into the on-demand space. We've delivered 30 SaaS solutions uh, last year, and uh, it's really about providing the software uh, to an institution quickly if it wants to move into a new business. And, uh, for example, in the commodity space, we have the Kydex uh, on-demand risk management platform, and several brokers have been able to launch their commodities business very quickly, uh, leveraging that technology. Hmm. Interesting. Changes kind of the whole dynamic of enterprise versus, you know, how you buy software, how you set up your business, how you pay mm -hmm. for things. Mm -hmm. uh, a real different dynamic in terms of how you think about your organization. Yeah. What we find with our customers is uh, they still want to do the install, particularly for, for systems that they feel are mission critical or give them the competitive edge. Mm -hmm. uh, but they want to look at these other services that might add value that they can pay for out of their operating budget hmm. and that they can get access to new capabilities quickly without having to go through putting their, their people on implementing it. So, so start as a software as a service, see if it takes off, see how you can think about yeah. the business and integrate it into your own existing organization and then bring it in-house. You know. Potentially, mm -hmm. or even run it on the software as a service platform. Hmm. Um, but if the business doesn't take off, you have a, a, a much better ability to scale back uh, because you haven't made that large investment up front. Interesting. Well, lots of interesting things to think about as we move into 2010 and beyond and into the next decade. With that, I want to thank Pamela Marnell for coming in. Pamela is the Chief Marketing Officer for SunGuard Financial Systems. And for me, Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group, I want to thank you for joining us. Thanks. Thank you.